My live rig for Nine Inch Nails is a laptop running the main stage, which is either playing back samples for piano and bass instruments, or it's a vocal effects uh, chain, sometimes at the same time, where I'm controlling it from a controller on stage. It's really just a, a momentary switch. Um, or it's my guitar amp, all of, all of which is virtual. But the effects pretty much is all Echo Boy and Filter Freak, actually. The combination of those two is pretty much the whole live rig, where each song has its own patch. That's got the tempo set, and I've got a variety of different delays that get the sound I need in a live environment effortlessly. And in main stage, basically, there's the captator on each one, pretty much, to a certain extent. It gets, uh, I don't know if it's just a mental thing, but I feel that just running it through and going through some of the presets, you know, um, not the presets, but just the buttons and see what sounds more appropriate. It's much easier than having to go through, well, basically I treat it like an EQ, having to go through the cuts and trying to cut what's not pleasant. I hear what everybody else is doing and then I'm in front of a, my computer and switch and that seems to be a very easy way to see, you know, to make it sit better with everybody else's. Um, in main stage, there's a set list, basically. There's a master song list, and every night there's a set list that Justin, my tech, sets up. So it's just all the songs that we play on any given night. And I have a remote MIDI controller that allows me to switch between those. If I forget, he changes by hand by clicking on it. And uh, a lot of the times, plugins are remotely controlled by pedals. You know, I have volume pedals or control pedals that are assigned to um, delay mix or delay repeats. Or I have switches also that are assigned to, um, to BPM, so I can tap. I can tap the BPM, say, of Echo Boy, you know. We've built a, a brand new rig from the ground up for every tour. Uh, we don't have any audio going to the stage. It's just a MIDI controller, and everything's in the rack. And there's um, presets galore. Um, it's kind of necessary to cover uh, all the different sounds that are happening. Well, as you can imagine, with something like Nine Inch Nails, there's so much detail that goes into each sound and each part that you can only do so much live. So things have to be reinterpreted. And when I say you can only do so much live, I don't mean that as a, in a negative way or like taking a step back. It's just a live show one of the great things about it is that you can bring across more power. So whether there are loops, I mean, I'm talking about my territory specifically, loops where sometimes I'll recreate that loop on a live drum set with samples, and sometimes that'll be enough. Or sometimes the loop really is carrying enough weight, and it's a matter of playing around it in a way that feels like it's, it's picking up the, the, uh, the tempo uh, of the song or just making it a little bit more exciting and kind of interplaying with that. So that's really what happens at rehearsals whenever new material is introduced. So these are the songs. We kind of sit down and discuss who gets what part. I mean, as a drummer, it's pretty self-explanatory. But there'll be cases where, like I said, the loop is so strong that a, me recreating it is almost too much and there's no point because it was already done perfectly there. So finding a way to fit in and around that becomes a fun challenge and then everything just kind of falls into the groove that's it's really when things feel good and natural that's I think when everyone realizes that okay that's that's the right part for you to do you to do and whatever it is and it all comes together very very quickly and then of course you practice it a million times to make sure it goes well the night of the show but yeah what I control of myself is often certain words will have delay on it and rather than have the burden of him trying to figure out when I'm going to say it, I can just creatively kind of either get a kind of stuck loop that'll uh, repeat a phrase, or if I'm catching certain words like in The Wretched, or there's a number of songs where I'll just grab a certain word here and there that I control myself, and he has a parallel feed of my dry vocal all the time, and then just, just wet coming from what I, I do on stage.